Okay, what's up guys? It's your girl Mel. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to um, update you about what's going on and like why I'm not at school. Um, so like pop quiz, is it because A, COVID, B, brain tumor, or C, pregnancy? The answer is brain tumor. My name is Melanie Shoji Naga, and I'm a second year MSPA student at Stanford. First year PA school was great. Stanford is where I was like really, really hoping for. I was on top of the world. But then, yeah, then I started feeling kind of sick. The headaches weren't the only thing that I started noticing. I would also start having, having a really hard time uh, like reading words. I couldn't like remember people's names. I just blew it off. I'm gonna be totally okay. Like after finals, it's just like the stress that's causing my headaches. In the time span of a month from my original craniotomy to my second one, it it like grew so quickly. To do radiation and chemo at the same time was probably the hardest thing. Uh, not only because I would feel so awful from it, but because I'd get an infection or a fever or something like that. Um, and I'd have to go back to the hospital. I think I ultimately did six rounds of chemo. And there were so many times where I was like, oh, is it even like worth it? Oh my God, you're gonna be so pissed. It was one of my PA providers. I was like, okay, do you think I should go back to PA school? Do you think there's enough time? Should I be spending all my time studying in a library right now? He was like, Mel, if you want to go to school, then you should go to school. So basically, I'll make a cut in the front here, and then also in the back, and usually you'll have a cast spreader, and you'll just kind of spread it open, and then they can just kind of come right out. So there's no other like really fancy cuts you need to make. I had a lot of downtime at the hospital, so I was on TikTok more. It was a good way to take my mind off of things and kind of make light of everything that was going on, express how I was feeling at the time and uh, it was really exciting when uh, my first couple of videos got a lot of attention. It was just nice to like kind of be a support system for other people and also feel supported myself. I do think that being a cancer patient will make me a better provider. I think <laughs> I definitely have the patient perspective now and I can see how Spending a lot of time with the patient when you're discussing their, their treatment plan or why you're doing things, how, how valuable that is to a patient. I'm getting ready for prom, for the med school prom. It's fun to see everyone all dressed up instead of just wearing our scrubs every day. Get to see them all fancy. Having gone through all this cancer stuff, it made me really appreciate like the PA lifestyle that you could potentially have or hopefully that I'll have once I'm done and sometimes it's a drag because it's a lot you know, something goes wrong and then I get a call in the middle of class I need to do a lumbar puncture and then I end up crying in front of the whole class I guess things like that will probably just continue to happen over the next five years at one point I was like only planning my life out in three month intervals because every three months I would have a scan but now I'm planning more into the future <laughs> now I can think ahead a little bit more 